The first reserve wine that we introduced to the Donham portfolio was in 2007 with the West Slope. This is the oldest block on our estate vineyard, and it's also planted to a really specific clone that's kind of unique to Donham, so we refer to it as our Donham selection. So this is a western facing slope, which means it's warmer. It sits right above the pond, so it gets a little bit of reflected sunlight. It gets the afternoon sun. And because of this special clone, it ripens really slowly. So we harvest it later in the year, get a lot of richness. Really, the vine age gives it a lot of depth. So this is a pretty powerful expression of Pinot Noir, but it's also incredibly well balanced. It's really exciting for me to reintroduce the East Slope. Some of our oldest members will remember this wine. This is a single block wine that we started in 2009, but the last vintage we made was 2013 because we had to replace the vineyard block. So now in 2019, we've got the vineyard producing again and we're able to bring this wine back. The East Slope Pinot Noir comes from eastern facing slopes. So these are blocks that get morning sunlight and then the sun kind of goes over the hill during the hardest part of the day, cooling them down. So leading to a lighter, more elegant wine. It's always made from the Calera clone, which is a heritage California selection. It's one of my favorite clones because it yields a really rich, dark fruited wine, but with good acidity and really nice balance. Along with the West Slope, it really shows how a couple simple changes, really just the aspect, morning sun versus afternoon sun, and a little bit of clonal difference can yield two completely different wines, even though the winemaking on both is pretty similar.